Hello and welcome to another review episode of eTech TV. My name's Ryan Combrink and this time around we're doing some cooling, which is high time because we haven't done it before. So to that effect, we're doing Noctua's NHD14 today. This awesome cooling system has been named by some as the world's best CPU cooler for quite a while. And uh, I guess to prove that to you, better do an unboxing and some features. So uh, before further ado, let's get into some of that. So Noctua is an Austrian company, but they make their coolers in Taiwan, which makes sense, I guess. Um, but as you can see, the back the, the box's layout is very basic. I guess it makes sense. Um, at the front, they've just got their uh, little bit of branding, some features. Then over here, just some of the you know legal things, barcodes. At the back here, some of the features just laid out, and international languages with a, a bit more detail. And up at the top, they've got their specifications, but that you can also see online. So to open the box, I'm sure with its basic layout on the outside, the engineering on the inside makes up for that. So as you can see, a nice sturdy packaging, very, very, you know, to the point and effective. And that protective so if it shakes in transport, it's not going to get hurt. And over here we've got the cooler. So as you can see, it's rather big, very metallic-y and uh, the likes. So the cooler itself is a rather big unit. It's got two heat sinks and then two cooling sides, a symmetrical layout with six heat pipes, distributing the heat to the radiators. And then also the two fans that are cooling the radiators. The round one is 140 and the block one 120 millimeters. The cooler also comes with Noctua's cooling compound, which you would put on here before you put on the CPU. It really gets that heat straight into the radius, you know, really fast and effectively. The fins on the sides are all aluminum and the base plate over there is copper and coated with nickel to get the thermal conductivity uh, down into the system really quickly. So before we do some extra features, let's quickly go into the peripherals, which is also an important part of this whole thing. So over here, we've got the peripheral box. Let's chuck it all out here. We've got the multi-socket mount. This goes on the back of your motherboard and tightens this really tightly. Um, you know, it fits, you know, any top end motherboard out there. So you're really not going to have a problem with that. This is just for AMD CPU. And then also this is uh, just some of the power adapters and the thermal compound in there, which is what you're gonna be putting on the base plate if you connect it. Of course, just like a, a Allen key screwdriver and a pocket installation guide in the different languages, as well as being the warranty as well. So, as you can see, it's pretty impressive. It's a very big form factor, but I mean, if you put this in a gaming PC, people is gonna notice it. And uh, it's always nice to have a, a bit of eye candy and some hardcore <laughs> mechanical bling uh, in a system. So uh, yeah, this is definitely gonna pull some eyes. So as you can see, even though the packaging is rather simple, the engineering definitely is not. The NHD14 definitely stands its own in the cooling arena and the community definitely shares that sentiment as you can see from the awards we're showing on the side. But Noctua also has two other offerings which we're not going to unbox but show you now. All in all their range is rather impressive 
and definitely covers most of what you'd want in a top end cooling system. We've got here the NHD14, like you just look, the big boy, but there's also the NHU14S. and then the NHU9B. But they all can hold their own in their category. This one for the big gaming systems with some overclocking, having two large heat sinks, two fans, and then the six heat pipes. And this one, the NHU14S, having one fan and six heat pipes and just one radiator, but still standing its own. This would be, you know, perfect for still the, you know, just below a professional gamer. And then this one for, you know, smaller systems, but you know, even, even so, cooling uh, very effectively has four pipes, um, a larger radiator, and then a one smaller fan. Um, but still, you know, these are all uh, top-end cooling systems that would be able to hold their own in most any environments. So thanks for joining us in taking a look at Noctua's NHD14 and the smaller cooling series. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like or subscribe. Also comment down below with any questions about EatTech, EatTech TV or even this product. So I hope you have a great week further and that's all from me, Rian. Until next time, cheers.